guys, welcome back. Today we will have a quick look at what's inside a digital manometer. If you're curious what is manometer, it's a device used to measure small changes in pressure, usually under 1 psi. Traditional analog manometer uses a U-shaped glass tube with a colored liquid inside. When you apply small pressure or vacuum to one end of the tube, the surface area and the weight of a column of liquid will displace, measuring and indicating the pressure. This is an industrial precision digital barotron manometer with analog digital output and ethernet interface with monitoring capability. It can measure pressures up to 20 torr or 0.387 psi. So before we pull it apart, let's plug it in and see what it does. So first of all, let's plug it in and have a look what it does. I'm pretty sure just by simply applying the small pressure onto the tube, uh, we will see the changes in the gauge. So it requires the 24 volts power and ethernet. It also has the uh, pressure out uh, analog, but um, maybe we'll hook it up to the scope and see what's happening out there in a second. So I have here 24 volt supply and uh, ethernet cable, where was it? Now let's power it up. So we'll give it a second to boot. So now let's um, go onto the browser and type in the default address, which is uh, 100.6168.0.0. Uh, and here we have the front page. So now let's uh, run. Okay, so after uh, poking around, I've had a look and for some reason, either I'm not running Java correctly on my computer or something, but it says here that diaphragm is shorted. Uh, so if I try to clear the events, it is still giving me the same thing. It also says the COM error here, uh, server COM error. So if we go to diagnostics, uh, it says over range times 29, diaphragm shorted times 30. So, and another thing, if I go to configuration and go zero adjustment, it tells me caution, system pressure is higher than 20% um, percent FBS. The e-baritron cannot be zeroed. So what I'm going to try to do is to cycle the power off and on. So I'll just disconnect the power right now. And it's disconnected. The baritron is getting quite warm. I think it needs to be preheated. So uh, reconnecting the power. And we'll see what happens. Okay, I have literally spent about eight hours trying to figure out this stupid Java. And I can't figure it out. It's, it's just not working. It came up at some state, some point, and it lit up that baritron actually it says uh, the membrane is sh shorted so the device is faulty so i guess we have to pull it apart before we test it out but uh, seriously i've tried all sorts of different versions i've tried mac i've tried pc different versions of windows i've tried the java runtime environment for microsystems or whatever that is it just worked and then suddenly i refreshed the browser and it just didn't work so i'm not sure what's happening is it's been a nightmare so let's just get to the bench and pull it apart from what i figured there's a screws located underneath you can even slightly see the indentations in, in the stickers it's actually pretty hot at the moment because i've just unplugged it so i guess we will have to remove the stickers first to reveal the screws and surely enough there they are and it's a hex head. I was thinking it's going to be standard, more or less, but I guess not. So let's get the Torx and um, get it open. How exciting. So that screw, by the look of it, goes all the way through the device onto the other side. And those two, I'm guessing... No, maybe not. Let's just undo one of them. And see if that will come apart. It does come apart. Alright, so we have two separate connections here. One is... I'm guessing I'll have to remove that second screw as well. Let's try disconnecting the cables. Uh, 
I'm not sure if that's a connector or not. It is. It is, um, hmm, very interesting. Must be grounding or something, just a single wire. So here is the control unit itself, which is quite hot still. And let's undo that screw and take that device apart. All right. There's a little sticker. Okay, so we're inside the Baratron chamber. Well, let's unstick the insulation and see what's inside and why it says that the, it's shorted. Surprisingly, when I plugged it in, I was in the middle of actually installing an older version of Java when uh, I refreshed the browser and suddenly it displayed that everything with the way it's supposed to display, but after the older version of Java installed, it suddenly just said, nope, not working again. All right. So I'm assuming that would be a thermal sensor. More screws to undo. All right, let's go further. That's the top unscrewed, so let's remove that. And that wire was just grounding. So here is more electronics. Another circuit board, let's take that off. All right, so I've just taken that off and by the look of it, that's the thermal sensors. That would be the thermal cutout and that would be the thermal sensor in here to sense the um, temperature when the Baratron is up to, up, to, um, up to its operating range. So what do we have here? We have circuit board okay I wonder well, how does it get hot and what sense is the pressure so I'm guessing no I'm not guessing so one of them there are two pins let me zoom in So there are two pins here that contact those centers and uh, shielding. So I'm assuming that would be for pressure measurement. But how does it get hot? I don't get it still because it is quite hot currently. So well, I have tried my best to get inside of it and by the look of it, it's sealed and capped. So those are just screws that holding the circuit board above it and the circuit board just plugs in into it just like that um, if I can get it aligned so that's it it's yeah I'm not sure how to get this chamber apart it would not screw and it's very heavy actually so we'll probably leave this one as is so that's a capacitive um, pressure chamber now let's get back to electronics and have a look so so that would be decoding the signals and sending it to the main board and uh, let's let's see if we can get this one out of there and check it out that's out so we've got communication chip we've got a microprocessor the reset button now there's a double board so there's a second board set, uh, sitting on top let's undo those and uh, see what the second board is hiding so I'm, I'm guessing that the top board is only communication Ethernet communication by the look of it now we've got the second board And there's not much here either. I'll see if I can take that out. Oh, it does have a microprocessor underneath, a couple of heat pads. 
Oh, they're still sticky. Uh, it has two processors. But yeah, that's that's about it. So two processors. And so that's what's inside the Baritron or Manometer as they called. But yeah, that, that's very interesting. Maybe I will get some time and pull it apart. They're using a pretty cool connectors. They're very, very snug. Yeah, what a shame that it's dead. Just an update. I figured, what if I just hook it up without the chamber and see what happens? So I did, uh, and uh, it's not telling me on the screen, even though it's not really working uh, with the JavaScript, but it's still, it doesn't say the uh, Baratron shorted anymore, the membrane shorted that warning. Uh, and it sort of works. So what happens is if I, uh, let, let's uh, have a look at the scope right now. And just like I predicted, uh, those two wires that were connecting to, um, to the chamber itself, this one and this one, they are for positive and negative, they're balancing. So as you can see on the scope right now, we've got above the normal. And if I touch the contacts on this side, it drops down. If I touch it on that side, it jumps back up. So if I touch it just the right amount, because it's measuring capacitance, as you can see, it's just, you can set, set the bar of voltage, that's analog voltage output anywhere, really. So it's just like working as a balancing, like pushing and pulling. So I think that circuit board can be used for something else, even though that's dead. I can make some sort of, I don't know, device with it. Uh, and it, yeah, it seems like it's working. The only thing I can't figure out is how did that get heated? There's only two connections that go onto it and they really are, are measured the voltage there's no voltage on them anywhere between those three uh, and there's nothing else connected i've thought maybe those side ones the actual mounting that would do it but no they they just ground it so i really have no idea how it was heated originally very interesting unless they may be using ground yeah, give me a second. I'll just measure this um, voltage between the ground itself and those. So we'll go to one of those and nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, there's nothing above. Um, it's zeros, it's all zeros at this point, zero, 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 three volts. So I don't know how it got heated. Unless maybe that thing gets hot, but no. As you notice, if I'm, when I'm touching the board, the, the pressure is, well, the line is changing as it's simulating the pressure. Yeah, that's that's fun device. You can make probably a level out of it or something. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a very handy board for something someday. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you next time. Bye.